We're all recording. Okay, so I remember remember when we had the supermarket strike? Way back. Way back, right? Yep. And and I was talking I was talking to some of the people who were on strike. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, uh, you know, what, what do you guys want? Well, we want more pay, better benefits, blah, 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 right? I go, well, what do you got right now, right? To say, oh, yeah, well, we make, let's see, we make, uh, like $20 an hour, and then on Saturday, time and a half, on Sunday, double time, and then holidays triple. I'm like, what are you complaining about, right? Oh, and then they tell me they have health insurance, and then this word I haven't heard in years called pension, and that, I lost it. I'm like, you have a pension, you make all this bank on other days other than Monday through Friday, right? Yeah. What are you complaining about again? And it's all because of the unions. So I'm going to tell you right now, it's a big hot button for me, so I'm going to take it down a notch. <laughs> unions are not needed anymore, and that's why we cannot manufacture anything in America because of this type of organized crime. Organized crime. Okay. I'm mixed about oh, I'm unions. I'm sorry. Did I not take it down enough? Yeah, Did I exactly. take it down enough? I'm mixed about unions, right? I'm mixed about unions. I think unions are as evil as corporations are evil. They're equal to evil because they're large and they're powerful, and the, the it's the entity, not the people in them, but it's the, the construct. I agree. I totally agree. It's the yes. absolute construct. I don't I, – because I, I look at, like, my favorite hot button is teachers' unions, OK, because when I see the teachers unions on TV and they're talking about stuff or in documentaries about education, I look at that and I think that's a, a huge problem. It's the, because the, the, the conversation that we hear from a group of teachers isn't about what's wrong with education or how to improve education or how we can make things better and we can educate our kids better. What I hear is we want more money. That's all. And, and, and I'm I'm all for paying people what they're worth. Okay, right. but I in my now I, for people who don't know I write software. Okay, there's no software union, there's no union for us, and yet and yet, you know we're 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 a highly skilled we're a highly skilled group typically, right? And um, so I think the lower skill that you have, you, you need to have a union, uh, and that's that's right. why that's why we had very low skill labor people. <coughs> Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, low skill living, getting pretty high wages, right? And that's right. part of the reason we have a problem in this country right now is because those jobs have disappeared, and they're not coming back. And that's what no politician will talk about, that those jobs are not coming back. So so I look at teachers as being high-skilled. I look at people in Hollywood as being high-skilled. High and the only reason they still have their unions is because the unions are powerful, and the union system is, is entrenched. And that's the problem is the entrenchment of unions. OK, so on one side, we absolutely needed unions in the past. And the, oh, by the way, the reason that the, the, the teachers high skilled in Hollywood and, and I'm right. sure there's other unions that are high skilled. The reason those ex- are, are, are people are in them today is only because they were in them in the past and we needed unions in the past. But I think that they've slowly li- outlived their usefulness. OK, what we wait, wait, let me let me jump in. Let me jump in. I know. Five people in my family or friends that are union members, mm-hmm. and they hate working for the union. They hate the way they work. They right. don't, and they all they all don't feel like they have the employee's best interest. They have, they have their own the best interest. They have the union's right. best interest. Exactly. My neighbor's on my neighbor's on strike today. Right. Okay. He works for AT and T. He's on strike today. As far as I know, it's still going on. Okay. And he has to show up to work every day to see if he's working. They tell him, you're still on strike. You don't get a paycheck. You got to go. Right? But they want him to pay his monthly dues to them. He's like, that's screwed. Yeah, here's something. Okay, when, when, we, were doing, when we were doing the film, <clears throat> Solitary, right? Before we ma- decided to make the film, we went around to sell it. We thought, let's sell the script and, and get this thing made where we didn't have to put our, our right. money in it. Okay, so go around, and but the idea was we knew that if we sold that script, we'd have to join the union. We wouldn't have a choice. So when you take choice from people, that doesn't sound very much like freedom <coughs> to me. Okay, when you force me to have to join this union to work, that seems like it's that seems counterintuitive to me. That I should be able to join the union or not join the union. I should be able to negotiate for myself or not, or, 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 or 
uh, group together and, and negotiate that way. I should be able to have the choice to do those things. I think that what happens is good intentions, right, created the unions and helped absolutely everyone. And we got great laws on the books now compared to what we had before the unions. So I don't want to I don't want to say unions are evil inherently, but they've outlived their usefulness, and we have laws. We That's have, what you just said. They've outlived their usefulness means they're not needed anymore. Right, exactly. But they're not, I look at them and I, I don't want people to think that what the statement we're trying to make here is that they're, they're bad in, in general. Oh, they, that, they no, were great. I'm going to make that statement. I'll okay, make that statement right here. Good, good, good. All right. I think they were good at one point and I think that they're, they're actually hurting, they're hurting people now instead of helping people because they're, they're their own entity. It's more about the entity, um, being surviving than than any individual within the entity, and they're way overpaid. There are many unions that I I know people that that cut sheet metal. They're making like fifty, sixty dollars an hour. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I are agree. you serious? I agree. No. There's way too much. You go look at all the all the schools that get repaired. They're all union workers because the politicians are in bed with the union workers, yeah. and they triple pay everything, and we pay. Dude, it's a flipping mess. Yeah, it's I a agree. mess, and and there's way too many people making too much money. Bank. <clears throat> right. Well, here, okay, but let's take let's go to back to teachers unions. Okay, I think there are a lot of great teachers who um, who have left te- teaching, right, because of the mess that everything's in. So the teachers unions haven't made it better for the teachers. The teachers union is right. failing the teachers. Okay, the school system is failing the students. So, but the teachers union is very powerful, right? And it's all about power for the union. They don't care about their, they'll say, they'll sell each, oh no, we care, we're only here for you, blah, 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 right, blah, right. blah, right? But they're not, but they're not. And, and, and everybody knows that they're not. They just okay. want this, it's all exactly. they care about. Once, it's all about that, it's all about the power the people who run the union have. Look how well they're doing. Look how, I would love to compare the average salary of someone who works for the teachers union Don't go and there, compare yeah. it with the teachers. Don't, okay, I'd love Don't to do go that there, comparison. dude. It'd be a bunch of Italians in New Jersey going, huh, what are we going to do next? How are we going to get another buck out of them? Exactly. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, that's my, all right. that's what I have to say about unions. All right, we'll talk later. All right, bye.